come in close and pay close attention. The dilemma with correct the cam timing is that it's indeterminate from the marks on the gear. You don't ever go off the marks on the gear, you go off the orientation of the two keyways. Now, the keyway on this end is somewhat hidden by the fifth generation, the second generation fifth bearing on it. But the keyways on the crankshaft from one end to the other are in a completely straight line. So if we know what this keyway is doing back here, we know what the one up front is doing, even if it's covered by the fifth bearing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for an orientation that's shown in the green shop manual. Here, if you open up to the correct page, it shows you the orientation of the two keys. Now, whatever the marks are on the crank and the cam, they're just a general indication. The actual orientation is shown in the green shop manual, and it is off the two keyways. When the cam is ground, it is ground off an orientation to the keyway, not off the gear or any of that stuff. So the keyways are never wrong. The marks on the cam gear are kind of sometimes moved over and they look good in either direction. But the key thing is, is that you just line it up off the marks and we're golden, all right? So if I look at this and I have, it's hard to say what is truly vertical on that, right? If you were just looking at this, you could stand there and look at it from the end and say, what's vertical on that? Well, if I put a, uh, a level on the case and make sure the case is vaguely uh, level, which it's not. Would you make this stand, Bill? Yes. It's a nice job. Okay, there. I want to like move this slightly out of the way. Off. Okay. If I look at it, it it's basically level side to side. If I take this, and see how I put the key in like a little flag sticking up? Yeah, it's tapped in vertically. Because I can take a level and clamp it on it like that, and rotate the crank. Until that is in the vertical position. Now if you walk down here, Come around. See how that's low right there? That one is not horizontal. Does it look horizontal now? It sure does. That's the correct orientation. So, if you look at the case, right, and you have it in your stand like this, and it is di dipstick side of the case is up, so you've got the non-dipstick side down, vertical key here, horizontal key right there. You want to check it with any kind of level and check it like that. That says it's vertical, this one's horizontal by eye. Now if you look at it and you wonder how it's done, uh, or whether or not you got accurately you got it done accurately enough, you can just shift this over one notch in either direction and check it. In the same way that you could see before I moved that one notch that it was clearly wrong. Uh, you can move it one notch the other way until you look at it. There's only a limited amount of positions. So if somebody says, but that wasn't level to within a tenth of a degree, it doesn't have to be. It has to be basically uh, oriented. You know, it's a fairly easy uh, go no go gauge on but that that's the correct orientation if we then went back and looked at this and looked at the marks on the gear and looked at the marks on the crank you'd sit there and say well they don't really line up well you don't care you're going off keyways not off the marks and if somebody said well the marks are there so i can line it up that's because they didn't read the manual because the manual right here written by general motors says it goes off the keyways all right I cover the question for the day? Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.